Welcome back, everybody. This is Retro Replay with a full playthrough of Sonic the Hedgehog 1 for the Sega Genesis. Sonic the Hedgehog released on June 23rd, 1991 in North America. When the Sega Genesis first launched in the United States, the original pack-in game was Altered Beast, which in its own right is a fun game, but Sega was struggling a bit with their console sales. Sega of America eventually decided to include this game, Sonic the Hedgehog, as their pack-in game and it propelled the Sega Genesis to the forefront of gaming. This was a brilliant move by Sega, just because they needed a mascot for their brand. You know, Nintendo has Mario, which is obviously huge for them, and Sega didn't really have anything. So, making this the pack-in game got Sonic the Hedgehog into so many people's homes. And since that decision was made, Sonic has become a household name. There have been multiple video game releases on varying platforms over the years. Sega eventually became just a games developer and stopped developing actual console hardware. So they started putting their games on other platforms. So Sonic is playable on pretty much all modern consoles and most retro consoles. And now, today, we have movies in the movie theaters. Sonic the Hedgehog the movie was released a couple years ago, and now we have Sonic the Hedgehog 2 coming out in one week. And the movies are actually pretty decent. They're fun. But all in all, this game was extremely successful for Sega, and was a great move for them to include as the pack-in game. This ended up being the best-selling game of 1991, and sold over 2 million copies. I do have a fun little personal story about this game, since I like to share things like that. Um, I bought my Sega Genesis in 1991. Uh, the week prior, my family was on vacation, and I actually missed the last Friday of school before spring break. So I missed all my classes that day. Um, the week prior to that, my English teacher had assigned us a spring break reading assignment. We had to read Treasure Island over spring break. You know, what kind of teacher assigns you reading material while you're on vacation? It's ridiculous. But anyways, uh, we were assigned this book, so of course me being me, I didn't read it while I was on spring break. So when we got home from vacation, I was able to go to a Toys R Us and purchase my Sega Genesis, but I couldn't play it because I had to complete my homework assignment. I had to read Treasure Island. So that Saturday and Sunday, the last days of spring break, I spent in my bedroom reading Treasure Island while my Sega Genesis sat there connected to my TV and I couldn't play it. It was a total nightmare for my 11-year-old self, and I hated it. When I got back to school on that Monday after spring break, I found out that on that Friday before spring break that I missed, my English teacher had actually canceled the reading assignment. So nobody else in my class read it. I was the only one that read Treasure Island, and I didn't get to play Sonic the Hedgehog on my brand new Sega Genesis.
as we go through this playthrough, uh, it is a little long, so I tried to edit out uh, my deaths. Um, I'm also playing on a Mega Everdrive Pro, and I tried to cut out any of my uh, save states that I was creating and things like that, so you may see some small edits here and there. Also, I failed at several of these Chaos Emeralds. I do end up getting three of them in the playthrough, but to get the real ending of the game, you have to collect all of them. I think maybe there's eight. I'm not real sure on that, on how many there actually are, but I only got three of them. So I don't get the real ending, but I do complete the game. There's one of my first major edits. It's not really missing anything from the gameplay. It's just that I died, so I wanted to cut that out. And that's a respawn point. So I kind of edited those sections together. There's also a lot of secrets in this game, and I know that wall right there is a breakable wall that you can roll through, uh, but I skipped it to go up and get these coins. fights in this game are typically pretty easy, although I'm obviously getting hit a couple times here, but um, they're typically pretty easy to get through. I also remember when I was a kid, there were some weird little hacks you could do. Um, you could do some weird things with these little animals that jump out at the end, and I think you could make them spawn in other places of the levels, but there were some key combinations you could do in the game that would allow you to quote-unquote hack the game and the graphics of the game and manipulate them in some ways. I'll probably have to look that up again and see how to do that and maybe make a short little video on it.
I failed miserably with these Chaos Emeralds at the beginning of this game. I do finally get this one here for my first Chaos Emerald. These levels are a serious pain, so hard to control, but it is what it is.
This boss fight was probably the easiest out of all in this game. It's pretty straightforward and very simple. Take that, Jim Carrey.
Pinball bumpers are so <laughs> annoying right here. It was very difficult to get down into that little bottom area with the springs. I failed miserably at this one.
this labyrinth zone in this series of levels can get a little annoying. When you get into the water, you move very slow compared to the other levels that are very fast. And you can also run out of air, so you have to wait for bubbles of oxygen to come up from the bottom floor and breathe the air so you don't die.
I come very close here to running out of air. And then I get stuck trying to get up to this button up here. It's just such a pain to try to do this platforming here, but I do eventually get it. The platforming really starts picking up in difficulty here as we get through these later levels. If I hit this platform right above me there with my head jumping into it, it'll actually cause it to drop down. But I didn't realize that at this point and totally whiffed on it.
do get this Chaos Emerald here. Uh, it takes me a little bit, but I do get it, and this is the last one I get in this playthrough. I also fail miserably on this one.
You'll probably start noticing some more edits as I get further in this game too and get closer to the end because it starts getting more difficult and I definitely died several more times and had to edit the video.
I definitely struggle with the platforming in this set of levels here. It gets way more difficult and has a lot of timing obstacles.
For whatever reason, I don't know if it's the bubbles or what, but the game starts suffering from some serious slowdown here. It's moving so slow, and the music actually gets out of sync with the gameplay because the graphics are moving so slow. <laughs> Here we go. We're about to get up to the final boss fight with Dr. Robotnik.
and this is it, the final chase, and he goes down in flames and dies until the next game. And that's it for the original Sonic the Hedgehog 1. It's not a very long game, it only takes a little bit over an hour or so to complete, maybe less if you're better than I am at the game. Uh, but that's it. Um, I didn't get the good ending because I didn't get all the Chaos Emeralds, but whatever, that's okay. And I'm just gonna kind of let these credits roll here, uh, while we close this out. Um, uh, I think since the new Sonic the Hedgehog 2 movie is coming out next week, I believe? I think it's the 9th. Um, I may do a Sonic the Hedgehog 2 live stream full playthrough if I can get my streaming hardware and setup working properly. I tried to do a live stream earlier this week and it was a major failure. I was having some problems with OBS and the capture software and hardware and the actual game console I was using. It just, they weren't playing nice together. So hopefully I can get that all working. Um, I would like to do some more streaming. I want to do some streaming some other consoles also uh, in the future and try to get a webcam and do some uh, voiceover while I'm playing those games also so I can interact with people. But we'll get there uh, once I get all the setup and everything sorted out and we'll try to make this more fun. Anyways, thanks everybody for watching. And don't forget to like and subscribe and click that bell icon to get notified the next time I upload videos. Thank you all for watching and have a good one.